Uh, in this area here where we have a, a coyote and a bobcat, that the, you cannot mate a dog with a cat. This is basic DNA according to the Bible that God created everything according to its kind in a very separate way. This is where the problems of this world began with the Adam and Eve story. And you probably know that, most of you, uh, where God gave them a test in the garden. And this is where the problems of humanity began because we separated ourselves from God by disobeying Him. But we love to say in this museum, even though this happened back then, there is a way for us to become uh, uh, united with God again in a special way which we tell people we will talk about as we go through the museum a little further. I love what your wife has created here. This display is beautiful and throughout the museum it's just she's done a great job. Yes, thank you. Well here we are uh, looking at a model of a velociraptor which were, was a type of dinosaur that existed uh, many uh, years ago, thousands of years ago in fact. And then we have a dinosaur footprint right here. Why do we talk about dinosaurs? Well many museums do of course. One of the reasons is it attracts people in, it attracts the families in. People are interested, yeah. for sure. When we can show that real science actually connected to dinosaurs actually agrees with the Bible, that makes it even more interesting. Yes, this helps a lot. This is a big conundrum here, the dinosaur and the, the age of the world and that sort of thing, and I love that you talk about that. Yes, exactly. And that's what we feel is very important to do because why should we believe something that the science doesn't really support, you know, of these creatures dying out uh, you know, 65 million years ago, which is what they want to say about this tissue, but there's no way that kind of material could last that long. I love this tour. Let's continue. Okay, let's do that. Dr. Butterworth, we're at the end of the tour, mostly, and this is the most important part. It is to us, because remember when we looked at the Adam and Eve exhibit, mm -hmm. It uh, showed us that we have a problem as human beings because we are separated from God by our sin. The relationship with God was lost at the Garden of Eden. Here, believing what Jesus did for us on the cross and raised from the dead, we can have uh, a new relationship with God, which I personally had a long time ago, over 60 years ago, and is still with me, of course. And so from here, we go on into the uh, hallway of the stars or we go into the bookstore. And then from there, we have some other exciting areas to go to, too. You have some exciting news. There's going to be a whole lot more because you've got a brand new building coming, but you've purchased the land. I'd love to go see that. Could we do that? I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Dr. Butterworth, this is prime property that you've got here. Tell me about it. Yes, it is. Uh, flat land on 50 acres that God has given us to pursue this vision. And we're so excited about the future and all that could be accomplished right here in this location. And this is going to be something that is ongoing. You've got so much property here that you're going to start with the museum, but then you could expand. Oh, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine 50 acres? <laughs> There's all kinds of possibilities there. And so the amazing thing about this particular museum ministry is that we have operated from the very beginning by free admission and donations only. People can donate either on our website, which is creationexperiencemuseum.com. They can donate through our newsletter that goes out to several thousand people right now. They can also donate, of course, when they come to the museum itself and experience the museum. Thank you so much. This is one of the best experiences you're gonna see in Branson. Please come check out Creation Experience Museum. You're gonna love it.